On October 17 morning, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính came head of the National Student Board for COVID-19 Prevention and Control, chaired the National Online Meeting with the candidates on initial results of the epidemic control has in the fourth wave from April 27 to now. The meeting evaluated results of implementing epidemic control measures, experienced lessons in epidemic control in the past time, while proposing measures to safely, flexibly adapt, effectively both preventing and recovering the economy more to follow. As of now, Vietnam has recorded 860,000 COVID-19 infection cases, 858,000 infection cases in the fourth wave alone, and roughly 21,000 fatalities. Vietnam has received 92.5 million vaccine doses and has injected over 61 million doses. 60.2% of people at the age of over 18 have been injected at least one shot and 24.7% injected two full shots. The fourth wave of the epidemic has left extremely serious impacts on life, health, and every aspect of social and economic life of people. The student board made the assessment that the epidemic has so far basically been under control nationwide. Localities that are imposed social distancing have controlled the epidemic. The fatalities and new infections in Ho Chi Minh, Bình Dương, Đồng Nai and Long An have got remarkable decrease but still at high level. New community infections are still found in some provinces and cities without clear transmission sources, and this causes the risk of outbreak and spreading in wide range any time and anywhere. In a meeting, the National Student Board mapped out six major tasks and solutions for COVID-19 epidemic prevention and control, including promoting the leadership and guidance of the party, effectively developing the overall strategy on COVID-19 prevention and control, boosting information technology application in epidemic prevention and control, 